beer review for today. We're going to be drinking this. It's called Atomic. Atomic. I was trying to do Atomic by Blondie then, but I completely forgot it went. I made like one note of it. Went do. It. Oh no, I can't remember any of the song. <laughs> um, it's by Time and Tide, uh, which is a local brewery to me. They're not too far away from where I am. Um, Taste notes say six percent. Vol Belgian blonde beer, easy drinking with fruity and spicy esters. Unfired and unfiltered, vegan friendly. Ingredients, water, barley, hops, yeast. There we go. 6% um, and it's got an average of 3.8 out of 5 on the internet. So it's cool, it's cool. It sounds like a cool beer. Be safe with drive. I'll try and do my best. Sometimes it's other people, isn't it? It's not always other people. Sometimes it's you that shit. But a lot of the time it's other people that shit. <laughs> But I'll do my best. Anyway, this can drew my attention, being my first degree is in chemistry, so it's kind of got a little atom on it, so it like got my attention straight away. When I was wine shopping for Christmas, I found this one. It's like, yes! When I was wine shopping at the place that Cascal's brother works at, <laughs> I kind of saw this, and it's like, yes, I want this, because the can was just awesome. I just love I just love the styling of the can. The bomb at the side's kind of... It, I don't know if it's the right thing to say, but the bomb's kind of super cute, especially given what happened in the world yesterday. But the, yeah, the bomb's super cute. The atom's super cute. I don't know what the fuck these things are and what this is, but it's kind of cute. The colorways, everything is, is just awesome. Do you know what I'd really like? Like, I'd like that on a pair of snowboard mittens. Like, I, when I snowboard, I like wearing kind of weird mittens. And I'd really love that on a said pair of snowboard mittens. That's stunning. Oh, I just realized there's a woman in the background looking in at it. I don't know if you can see it very well there. Look. Eyes. Maybe it is Blondie. It looks like Debbie Harry. I think there's Debbie Harry in the background of the can. <laughs> that took me ages to look and notice that. That's really cool. It is actually, actually, the lead singer of Blondie is in the background of the can. But this on a set of snowboard gloves. Imagine that on my hand when I'm snowboarding. That'd be super sweet. So that's enough about the can. So you know what? I'm infused more about the can than probably I will be about trying the beer. What is that frog, Saggy? I've been listening to the um, frog song by... Um, Paul McCartney. Scout loves the frog song, if you can remember. Bom, 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 aya. Bom, 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 aya. <laughs> That's how you're cool, isn't it? If there's a bomb going off behind you and you're walking away from it, not even giving it any mind, that's when you reach cool. You has the dinosaurs! You only have a dinosaur bum there, Jelly Ogre. Your head of the dinosaur doesn't seem to have worked. <laughs> Atomic. Right, here we go. Let's get this poured. Right, here we go. Let's put Debbie Harry back. Debbie Harry not being cool because she's staring at an atom. If you could stare at an atom with your own naked eyes, I think you would be cool as well. Right. It's unfined and unfiltered, but look how clear that is. I'm, I'm calling a little bit of bullshito on that. That is way too clear to be unfined, isn't it? She does. <laughs> no, it's an awesome song. You don't like the frog song or the We All Stand Together. Who knows what song I'm on about by that? Because I, d I don't think many people nowadays know what it is. I have unicorns and Pokemon. I want unicorns and Pokemon. I really want a Pikachu. Who used to have a Pikachu butt? I used to go into someone who stream that had a Pikachu butt. But I think they stopped streaming. But that was a really good emote. But their Pikachu butt emote got taken down. Because um, Twitch thought it was sexual or something. It's like... I think that says more about you as a platform than it does of... If you find Pikachu's butt sexy, you've got problems. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> Definitely on you. Anyway... Beer doesn't look like it's been unfiltered. It looks really cleared out. It smells nice. Oh, I love the drum cat. The drum cat's so cool, Lily. Are they your cats? Smell-wise, I think my bunged-up nose is preventing me from smelling. I can't smell much at all, so hopefully there's some good taste coming through. I'm also going to be super disappointed because I saved this beer specifically for today for a reason, but I can't remember what the reason was. Ooh. It tastes very much like a Belgian blonde. Who? This might be the Belgian blonde in the background here. Hey, Dan's here. Welcome in, Dan. Gemmas. Oh, okay. That's a really, they're really cool. I love the kitty cat emotes. I need more cat emotes. Then we should all subscribe to Gemma's stream. Okay, think I'm here now. It looks like you're here. Yeah, so it definitely tastes like a Belgian blonde. And I'm a big fan of Belgian blondes. Good times I had with Belgian blondes. So yeah, I'm going to rate this quite highly. And I love the can. The can's really swayed me. It's a bit like judging a book by its cover. But the can's fucking awesome. So off the back of the can and the fact it tastes like a Belgian blonde, I'm going to give it a strong 4 out of 5. Best beer ever. Cheers, everybody.